Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today I'm going to start a new series and that will focus only on the mathematical notation. Now why mathematical notations are very important is because you must have seen that you know whenever you pick up a new uh, machine learning or deep learning book the introduction starts with uh, a very generic explanation that how the algorithms are going to work and the concepts and so on and what happens is you know they uh, I sometimes call it as they infest the entire book with mathematical notation and sometimes uh, we are not comfortable with uh, you know all those uh, jargons and all those uh, symbols etc so that's why I thought that it would be a good idea to dedicate a complete series on explaining the notation so that whenever next time you pick up a book uh, you'll be able to you know read that as a plain english instead of worrying about what these notations are what those crazy symbols are right so the first thing in any machine learning book that you will come across is uh, the concept of real numbers of course you are familiar with real numbers i believe and you are also have you have also used uh, real numbers in a lot of places right uh, in your mathematical equations etc but i'm going to talk about more from a notation perspective that what does it mean and how it is being used in the book and how you should uh, you know use that to read a book or a uh, article or a research paper and so on so let's start with a very simple uh, example which is uh, from the real numbers okay all right so we know real numbers what it is but just for a quick revision I'll just say that you know this picture actually summarizes everything so if I talk about you know how many um, how many elephants do I have in my house so it would be zero right and uh, you know how many how many car do I have then I would say say probably one and so on right and how many employees do I have then I would say two so these numbers are natural numbers right zero one two and so on but if I talk about uh, the temperature in New York City uh, in the winter so it would probably be in the negatives right so that's why uh, these negative numbers zero and the natural numbers they combine together and called as integer and so on so basically uh, this all comes under an umbrella called rational numbers which also includes the fraction both positive and negative and also we have the irrational numbers where we have the square root numbers and the cube root numbers maybe both positive and negative and also the pi exponential those are irrational numbers right so this entire bucket of numbers that we see or use in the real world are basically the real numbers okay as simple as that and I will go back and show you the notation it's a big R right all right so let's give a quick example uh, you know uh, about the common operations that you will see and this is the first thing that you will notice in uh, you know most uh, machine learning book you know if f colon r to r what does that mean you know so let's take a, take a quick example so say for example uh, you have uh, three employees yeah and you give them very good handsome salary huh? okay so the first one makes a hundred thousand dollar the second one makes two hundred thousand dollar and the third one makes three hundred thousand dollar now if I ask you what type of numbers are this right so you would instantly tell me that these are real numbers or more technically you will say these are more uh, natural numbers right okay perfect now if I want to give 10% hike to all of them then my new salary would be something like x plus 0.1 times x that means with a list of numbers that I initially had 100 200 and 300 I want to conduct some operations it can be multiplication addition subtraction division you know whatever I want to it's called a unary operation technically okay now if I want to do that kind of operation and then I will get back some new numbers right so that will be x is equal to 110 220 and 330 in this case so I might want to know what type of number did I get back after that you know operation initially it was real number okay now I have d the transformation so I would like to know what transformation numbers uh, did my number actually go any transformation right so that is the main intention here in most of the machine learning book as we will see in further mathematical notation 
These transformations are very important because we would like to keep a track of that. And we'll see in our, uh, you know, upcoming uh, more videos and we'll get more into the depth of those uh, notation and so on. All right. So if I go back and see that, yes. So that means I had some real numbers. And when I did some transformation, I got back real numbers again. Right. And that is the whole purpose of this symbol. And when I say F colon, this is nothing more than just a transformation. In this case, what F does is it takes 100, right? multiplies it with 0.1 or 10% of the original number plus the original number. So that means if I take 100 or if I give 100 to this function f, it is going to give me 110. That is the whole purpose of this shortcut notation. That what modification are we going to do the to the original numbers? That's it. And this is the, you know, the most simple equation that you will come across. All right. So your x was a real number. And after transformation, so here the transformation was multiply, multiply the original number with 10% hike plus the original number. So you get back, uh, actually I've written here y, but it means the new salary x uh, is also a real number. All right. So that was the main intention to you know start this uh, series to explain all this complex mathematical notation and simplify them with a real world example. Alright, I hope you liked the first video of this series. Stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel and I will make sure that I at least cover 100 such notations in my upcoming series. Till then, you have a great day and take care.